Hey everyone, Krista from Colorado Custom Lures. Just a quick technique video tonight on spatter. Uh, check us out at coloradocustomlures.com and on Facebook at Colorado Custom Lures as well. Uh, so I'm doing a blue craw, which is a popular pattern that I do. And this is um, the bait here. And one of my last steps is to add spatter. So an easy way to do spatter, and you have to practice this a little bit, so it might take you some time to get used to it. So I have my... Uh, compressor on with uh, some transparent black in here. You can use any black you want. You just want to make sure, they're sure that it's thin enough. So I'll pull back on the trigger here and just hold it back, no air, and then go to the bait and just tap your trigger. And you'll see that you get just a tiny little bit of spatter here and the thickness of the spatter will vary a little bit. You don't even necessarily need to release any air. You just let the paint drip onto the needle and then boom. Just tap it and you'll tap some spatter onto your bait. So um, this takes a little practice. You want to make sure that you don't pull back on the paint while you're releasing the paint for the spatter. You just tap your trigger, no pull back whatsoever. If you pull back, you're going to spray paint all over your bait. So it's kind of a scary thing to learn. Something you might want to practice on paper or on like a practice bait before you do it on a finished product. Uh, I speak from experience um, having screwed up this exact same bait which is very time consuming design um, in the past. So I'll show you what this looks like when it's finished uh, here in a second because you'll have to do you know this several times to get the desired amount of spatter, a uh, little or a lot. And this is gonna give you varying spatter um, dot sizes and not everyone will necessarily give you a spatter. It just depends how much paint is on the DLC. I pulled back there. So you always wanna hold away from your lure while you're loading the paint up on the needle so that you don't spray accidentally on the bait. So I will give you a quick look here then. So here's your spatter pattern on the bait. You can get, you can see that you got it in random various patterns. So just a quick technique video. Feel free to reach out to us via our Facebook page if you have any questions and everyone have a wonderful evening.